My name is Anna Trong with Henrico Recreation and Parks Department. And I'm excited to show you some interesting, fun drinks, recipes that I came across, non-alcoholic mocktails that you can use any time of the year, but they're kind of fun, celebratory, maybe New Year's Eve type mocktails that are good for adults or children, or just the children at heart. So the first one we're gonna show you is very simple, very little to it, but it just kind of makes it fun. This one is a cotton candy drink. And I know in my house, I've got some cotton candy lovers. So we're gonna start with that. The recipe says to drop your cotton candy in the glass before you pour anything over it. Well, I will tell you, I have learned that you want to make sure your cotton candy color is the same color as your drink. Because as you're pouring your colored drink into a cotton candy, if they're different colors, you mix your colors together, what do you get? Brown. Not such a pretty drink in the end. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to pour, and the recipe states raspberry ginger ale. It's kind of hard to find raspberry ginger ale, but I did find cranberry ginger ale, which I love just as much. And that's readily available, especially this time of the year. So I'm just going to pour my glass with some cranberry ginger ale for that holiday festive color. And I'm going to just set my cotton candy to the side. Kind of got to squish it on there to make it set on top. And then I've got some cherries to top it with. And I'll also tell you, as soon as your cotton candy hits that liquid, it's going to dissolve and make it oh so sweet. So here's your cotton candy drink. Enjoy. All right, for our next mocktail, we're going to make a frozen snowball punch. This is going to be good any time of the year. You've got nice snowballs on top to have it during the winter, but it's kind of sparkly, so it might be good during the summer too. It might be good any time of the year. So again, the recipe you'll see at the end of the video is the original recipe, and I've adapted it to kind of work within a glass, not a whole punch bowl. And it's kind of up to you to decide how much of what you like, but you're going to start with some blue Hawaiian punch, which is always yummy. And we're gonna do a one to one to half ratio. So I'm actually gonna put a half a cup of the Hawaiian punch. And I'm gonna pour that in my glass. I'm doing half a cup of lemon lime soda. You can choose your favorite. I think that's about half. Again, I'm kind of eyeballing it, but it's all gonna taste good in the end, I know that. And we're gonna do a quarter of a cup of pineapple juice. Am I close? I don't have glasses on to see, but I'm just gonna enjoy it as it is. And there you go, you've got all your good flavors there. We're gonna kinda of let it swirl around a little bit, but the piece de resistance, always yummy. Any time of year, ice cream. Here's our snowball. So we're gonna take our ice cream and add it to our punch. Let's see if I can get that out of there. Ooh, yum, looks good just like that. And then you can add some sprinkles to the top if you'd like, just for tasty looks. And I also have some snowflake sprinkles because it is a snowball punch. So there you go, snowball punch, enjoy. Our next mocktail is our last one, and it's gonna be full of yummy bubbles, along with a little bit of apple Sprite to it. So this one is a one-to-one -one ratio, so I'm not even gonna measure it, I'm just gonna look at the glass and eyeball it. But you want some really good, genuine apple cider. This is the best, better than just the apple cider juice. So I'm just gonna put some of this in my glass. And then we're gonna add some ginger ale for bubblies. So I'm gonna pour this in my glass till it looks good. And I know it's gonna taste good. And then we're just gonna take a couple of apple slices. Have a grown up help you with this if you're making it. So we're gonna put one on the side and drop a couple in for looks. Cheers. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it.